Thanks for checking in as we take a look at your extreme weather outlook. I'm meteorologist Todd Nelson. And after the last several days, we've been tracking Dora in the eastern Pacific, now starting to really fade. Really not much left of Dora as of now, but we have an enhanced threat of severe weather today and tomorrow. Over the Midwest, we're talking about a July heat wave developing across much of the nation as well. All that coming up in just a second here. But this is a, a look at Dora from earlier today down to post-tropical cyclone. Again, not much left. And whatever is left over of Dora will continue to drift west through uh, Thursday here before completely diminishing. Meanwhile, the central U.S., we're tra tracking severe weather concerns. And there is an enhanced threat from near uh, Madison, Wisconsin to Omaha, Nebraska, and also including Des Moines, Iowa. So the threat here is mainly for large hail and damaging winds into the afternoon and evening. But there is also an isolated tornado threat. So definitely keeping an eye on the weather situation uh, for this afternoon and evening. Then tomorrow, more redeveloping thunderstorms near Omaha and into Kansas City, Missouri and places west of that. Another enhanced threat, but the severe threat actually stretches as far east as Buffalo, New York. And then on Friday, we have another slight risk of severe weather across the Great Lakes region. So showers and thunderstorms will be developing along a boundary, which is going to kind of stall out over the next two to three days. And along that boundary with convective precipitation, going to be talking some isolated flood concerns, maybe some two to three plus inch liquid tallies with that. And again, the center of that looks to be kind of over the Des Moines area, certainly over Iowa and into northern Illinois. Meanwhile, tender dry conditions over the southwest. Critical fire weather today uh, across uh, the Intermountain West, including Utah and Arizona. Temperatures here will be very warm again, pretty close to average, if not slightly above that. More triple digit heat from Vegas down to Tucson. And then we're going to have a pretty big weather pattern shift as the upper level winds bubbled north into the early part of July, which means that uh, we could be very hot as we take you through the early part of the July through much of the nation.